Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the program, uh, the probable solutions for week 3 assignment of software testing course. So friends, please watch the video till the end uh, because if I make any changes in between the video, you may not be able to note those changes. So if you watch till the end, you can be able to correct that. So getting into the video, friends, this, you know that uh, this is uh, somewhat uh, complex assessment compared to other courses so i tried my best to give you the most probable answers if you have any doubts regarding these solutions let's discuss in the comment section to give the best uh, best purified solutions again so i hope most of these are correct so let's get into the video first question which of the following types of program models is normally used to design the integration test plan in software project deploying procedural development the probable answer is option C, structure chart. Guys, this is complex because uh, these, are, these have different type of terminology uh, compared to other uh, similar terminology courses. So it will become some type of complex. And also the questions are do not directly related to the lecture. Everything is not mentioned in the lecture unlike other courses. The other courses will mention uh, what they have said and this is somewhat extension to the lecture videos. So I have given my best to give the answers. Moving on to second question. For a given function, the computed Macab's cyclometric complexity metric does not correlate with which of the following. So for second question, the probable answer is option C, number of lines of code. And moving on to the third, which of the following characterize the equivalent mutants? So the answer is option B, mutants which fail with the same set of test cases. <coughs> and fourth question, so here I have uh, done a lot of work, uh, but I got the most probable answer for fourth question as because I will uh, draw some uh, rough rough figure regarding control flow graph this is for function and this is for int main and for if i greater than j guys here they did not uh, clearly mention that uh, this if loop uh, if if condition is the nested if or uh, the other condition they did not mention clearly in the previous assessments uh, before years they have mentioned clearly but here I did not give, got the clarity if you know anyone please uh, comment here phi greater than j then m equals j plus k and in that there will be two cases if i greater than k one condition and the other one is k uh, <coughs> that one is else condition so for this we have m equal to i for this we have uh, m equal to k so how many nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we know that edges minus nodes plus 2 gives the complexity Number of edges means number of links 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 edges minus 8 nodes plus 2. So the answer may be 2. But it's not a guarantee one because there is some ambiguity or confusion in the given uh, code. So I think option A is the answer. If you anyone uh, got clarity regarding this, please comment. So our, our other viewers also will be able to note that. And fifth question. Which of the following is recommended integration testing strategy for a program having only three modules? So in a uh, lecture mod uh, lecture, they did not clearly mention about three modules, but they told about uh, if we have very small number of modules, then we use Big Bang. So option D could be the answer. Moving on to the sixth one, if MC by DC. 
coverage has been achieved on a unit under test, which of the following test coverage is or are implicitly impli implied? So the probable answer for sixth one is option D, condition or decision coverage. So mark option D. <coughs> Moving on to seventh one. For the following program statements, which of the following test suits would achieve basic condition or decision coverage? So they gave a small uh, single uh, condition statement, if, if statement. So for this, the probable answer will be option E. Moving on to 8th one, they gave a uh, condition statement. They are asking how many, at least how many test cases are required for this MC by DC coverage. So the answer will may be option C, 4. Ninth question. Why is the all path testing strategy rarely used in practice? So the answer is option A. Too many test cases are required to be executed. So it is not a regularly used, it will be rarely used. That is option A. Moving on to the final question, that is 10th one. Which of the following are true for the competent programmer hypothesis used in the mutation testing literature? The answer will be option A. Mutants corresponding to only simple programming works need to be generated as competent programmers make only simple mistakes. The option could be option A. So mark option A as the correct answer. So friends, these are the probable solutions for the week 3 of software testing course. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If, uh, if you know the exact answers regarding this, uh, please comment in the comment section. So we can discuss and give the best answers. And if I change any answer, I will give that in the comment section and also thumbnail. So again, visit this uh, channel video and see the comment section to make any corrections. So friends, uh, so for further weekly videos uh, and other video sections, please uh, keep supporting us. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.